right now I'm going to show you the roadmap in order to learn everything about SQL, starting from very basics and then advance step by step until we have very advanced topics. So now at the start, we have to understand few stuff like what is SQL, why to learn it, what are databases and the types of databases. And after the theory, we're going to prepare your PC with data and the softwares. Now, once we have everything, then we can go to the next chapter. This is the basics, how to query data using SQL. And here we're going to cover the basic components in each SQL query, like select, from, where, those basics. Now, once you understand how to query the data, how to get the data out of the database, the next step, we're going to go and learn how to define the structure of the database, how to create a new table, add a new column, remove column, and as well, how to drop a table. So with that, you are defining new stuff in the database. And then the next chapter, you have to learn about the data manipulation. This time, we're going to go inside the table and we're going to learn how to insert a new data, how to update the data, and as well, delete few rows from our database. So with that, you have the basics, how to query a data, how to define the structure of your tables, and how to manipulate your data. And I can say with that, you cover the basics about SQL. Now, after that, we start with the intermediate phase, where we're going to deep dive into topics like how to filter your data. Here we're going to learn about the comparison operators, logical operators, between and like, so all the operators that you can use in order to build a condition in order to filter your data. Then after that, it's going to be a very interesting topic. You have to learn how to combine them. And here we have two mechanisms, either using the join or using the set operators. And oh my God, joining data, it's going to be a very interesting topic. Here we're going to cover like a lot of stuff. Like we can start with the basic joins and then we go to advanced and then you have to learn how to choose the the right join and after that you have to learn about the set operators and here you have like four methods union union all except intersects so with that you learn how to combine multiple tables by combining the columns or the rows of your tables so this is very important now moving on in our course now using sql you can do a lot of stuff cleaning up the data a lot of data preparations and at the end you can do a lot of analytics and aggregations so there are like two families of functions the first one is the row level functions and here we have a lot of stuff you can transform your string values the numbers date and time and how to handle the nulls in sql and at the end the amazing case statements so all those stuffs are transformation for only one single value we call it row level functions and after you learn how to do data transformations then you have to learn about how to do data analytics and aggregations using SQL functions. So we're going to start with very basics like the aggregate functions and then we're going to deep dive into the window functions, analytical functions. And here we have like aggregate, ranking and value functions. Those are very important tool for any data analyst or data scientist doing analytics task in SQL. So I can say the row level functions is for data engineers and the analytical functions are for data analysts. So at the chapter eight, we can say you have covered now the intermediate level and the last four chapters, they will be the advanced stuff in SQL. So here there are a lot of techniques that you have to learn about SQL. So the first one is the subquery, query inside another query, and the very famous CTE, common table expression. A lot of developers like this one. And then you will learn about how to create views in the database. This technique, if you learn it, you're going to be really professional in SQL. Then we're going to learn how to create tables using select, the temporal tables. And then we're going to learn about the sort procedures, how to write a program program in SQL and after that of course comes the triggers. So those are the advanced techniques that you have to learn in SQL in order to do advanced projects using SQL. So now once you learn all those concepts and you start writing a lot of SQL codes, you will notice that some queries going to be really slow and for that you have to learn how to optimize the performance of your queries. And here there are a lot of techniques. The most famous one is to create an index in the database or create a partition and at the end I will be sharing with you the top 10 best practices that I have learned in my projects on how to optimize the performance of your queries. So this is very important. And then we're going to move to a very interesting one. I will be sharing with you how I use AI like ChatGPT or Copilot as I'm using SQL in my projects. So here you have to learn how to write correct prompts to get assistance from AI as you are using SQL. And finally, and my favorite one, it will be about SQL projects. So my friends, here you have to bring everything that you have learned about SQL 
in hand on projects. With real projects, you will get challenges and struggle. And here gonna happen the magic and the real learning. And here there are three types of projects. The first one is data warehousing project. This is very data engineering focused project where you're gonna learn how to build a real data warehouse, where you're gonna take the data from the raw formats and then process it in different layers. Once you build it, then you jump to another project. Here you're gonna start exploring the data and start getting the first insights about the business. And the last project that you can do is the advanced data analytics project. So this is very important section where you do SQL projects. So my friends, this is the roadmap on how to learn SQL. So as you can see, it takes you step by step from basics to intermediates, and you will end up having advanced topics. And with that, I can tell you, you will learn everything about SQL. Okay, so now let's start with the first chapter, the introduction to SQL. And here we're going to cover a few topics. So we have to understand first, what is exactly SQL? Why we have to learn it? What are databases and the different SQL commands that we have in SQL? So it is the basics, the theory about SQL. So what is exactly SQL? Let's go. 